until your mind is open to the possibilities that I can do this, you would never be able to do it. Once the mind starts to believe it can be achieved, only then does it start to break down tactically how we can do this. Until then, you're gonna always lose. You can do a work for your entire life, but is the work that you do worth your life? It is the question that you must put on the scale. If I stay here, if I continue to do the same thing year after year, week after week, month after month for the rest of my life, is this qualified as living? Or am I walking through life, sleep, never awake enough to see what I could have been or what I could have done? You know when your life is gonna change? When you stop being so loyal to the wrong things. Your loyalty has become your slavery. You've allowed your good heart to keep you in situations that's breaking your heart. You're loyal to people that will never support you. You're loyal to people that will never be happy for you. You're loyal to people that can care less about you. You're loyal to people that aren't loyal to you. Stop being so loyal to the things that are ruining your life. Our lives that we're living right now are a gift. And our way of life that we enjoy, it is also a gift. It's a blessing and it's a luxury. What changes your life is not learning more. What changes your life is making decisions and using your personal power and taking action. That's what the definition of power is. Look it up in the dictionary. Power, the ability to act. Achieving a goal for the sake of vain glory and sheer accomplishment will bring satisfaction, but that satisfaction will prove to be short-lived. Achieving goals that have deep meaning to us will bring us far more happiness. When we set goals that have meaning outside of our own selfish ends, we discover it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Once you come face to face with who you are, you have a starting point, all right? <laughs> I'm not real smart. I have no courage. I have no self-esteem. I have no nothing. Nothing. That's my starting point. Now we can move from there. Tell myself I'm strong. I have courage. I'm smart. And all these are lies. You continuously push that starting point backwards. So that starting point is the truth. The no fucking bullshit truth that only you can tell yourself. So it's a starting point, the truth is a starting point. The road to someday leads to a town of nowhere. It's a place you don't want to end up in. So you gotta get yourself to take action. How do you do that? You decide. Make a decision right now you're not willing to settle for anything less than you can be. That you're not willing to live the way you're living right now, no matter how good it may seem, that you're gonna push yourself to the next level. Demanding more from yourself than anybody else could possibly expect is true power and all it takes is deciding remember the word decision in its original latin root means to cut off from when you decide you cut off from any other possibility people getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like jobs that are making them sick you see when you're not pursuing your goal you are literally committing spiritual suicide when you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you had. So if you want to make this your decade, you've got to decide to be bold. So you've got to be bold in life. Most people go through life trying to creep. No, no, no. Trying to be casual about it. No, no, no. You go through life being casual, you'll end up a casualty. You've got to be bold in life. You've got to take life on. The biggest trap that keeps people from taking action is their fear. Their fear of failure, their fear of success, their fear of rejection, their fear of pain, their fear of the unknown. The only way to deal with fear is face it. Look at eye to eye and take action in spite of it.
Especially nowadays in this society, we like to surround ourselves. It makes us feel so good. Those people who say, it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It isn't okay, man. And we love to feel wanted and loved. Trust me, that's all important. It is. But you have to have the truth from people. Hey, you're not working your butt off hard enough. You're not trying hard enough. We all think we're trying hard, but what are you gauging that off of? Am I making an emotional decision? I mean, what a smart little thing to check on. And if you check on it, you're gonna realize that that is a bad move. People make deci emotional decisions all the time. And by the way, they almost never turn out good. Am I mad? Am I frustrated? Am I vengeful? Am I fearful? Am I guilty? Guilt is an emotion that'll make you do something that you know you shouldn't do. Fear is an emotion that'll make you do something that you shouldn't do. Frustration. I'm getting frustrated, you know what, just go ahead and do it, right? These are horrible things. See, when you strengthen the things that you once make you weak, you make it so that the enemy that comes up against you can't keep beating you the same way. Don't keep repeating the same mistakes, thinking that somehow you'll get a different result. You're not insane. You must have an insane dream, but you must not go insane. You must dream so big that no one else can see it coming not even the original version of you, but you were going to evolve. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. There's a greater you that was waiting to meet you. Make this life count.